great. This video is for us to learn more about the Australian marine industry. It's my pleasure to be uh, joined by David Good from Amex. David, great to, great to meet you and thank you for spending the time with me. Um, yeah, Australia, I mean, there's a lot happening over here in the, in the market. Um, different markets around the world are going through different states and um, some potentially at the minute are in a, in a sort of decline and maybe have been in a period of stagnation. How is Australia going? It, it is cooling off a little bit, but it needed to. I mean, the, the, the last few years have been record highs and that was yeah pretty much un unsustainable. So it is cooling off a lot. The larger boat market, so the 40 foot, 50 foot plus is still quite strong, good orders, but it's uh, the trailer boat market I think is, is cooling down. People with mortgages have stopped spending as much money as they were a couple of years ago. Yeah, I think that that's probably reflected in, in other markets as well. So you're seeing the bigger boat market stay quite um, strong and then the trailer boats stream back. We, we are, and particularly exports because the Australian dollar is quite low. So it's, it's still, you know, I wouldn't say cheap, but it's great value for Australian yeah. exporters because it's 65 to 67 cents to the US dollar. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big discount on a, a similar spec boat that you can buy from Americans. What about um, innovation in the industry? Because I know you're obviously promoting sales innovation in general, um, Australian uh, technology. What, what, what are we seeing coming out of the market? We, we, we just finished our conference and we had some spectacular uh, innovations presented there. So electric foiling boats being made in Western Australia, um, hybrid vessels being made for the US, oh, sorry, the Australian government. Um, Australian uh, companies selling into the US defence market um, because of the AUKUS arrangements. So there is there is a lot of innovation happening. Um, Australia's always been quite um, you know, uh, strong in that innovation. Uh, the, the tyranny of distance here means we have to do something special to get the market to, to watch what we're doing. So innovation's always been a big part of getting that that attention on our um, on our industry, and so it's, it's still quite strong. Hybridisation, electrification, foiling—they're all they're all the the new things that everyone's looking to how to how to how to do it or how to include it into their product lines. I know, um, so speaking to you before this, you're also focused on the super yacht sector and, and how um, Australia can be. It always is a destination, but it gets more of a hub. Um, what, what's happening in Australia to attract owners and captains to, to visit? The best part about Australia is that we're in the South Pacific. So the, the people that want to bring their vessel to a safe location that's very exotic and tropical, great cruising grounds where you're not going to see another vessel, um, the South Pacific is a fantastic spot. So you know, you've got places like French Polynesia, uh, Fiji, Vanuatu, Papua New Guinea, great cruising locations and what Australia does is we provide a hub for maintenance and refit. We've got properly skilled trades, great shipyards and all the major service providers from around the world, all the engine manufacturers, all the major shipyards have got service agreements with our shipyards. So we're, we're really the refit and maintenance hub ourselves in New Zealand that provide that confidence for the vessels when they're in our region. And would you say that that upskilling's happened in recent years to, to be able to service? Because as you know now, the, the vessels are coming with more and more technology where they're built. So we, we, you've seen that upskilling in Australia for the, for the labour force. We have, and, and probably the reason why we've got such good skilled trades, um, Riviera, you know, the manufacturer, they, they took in uh, 114 new apprentices this year. So. That um, type of background, those guys, they, they, they learn their trade, they perfect it, they go off and start their own business, they work for the shipyards, they go from bigger and bigger, more um, you know, skilled um, type of uh, projects. And, um, and that's really why we've got such good trades here, because you know, Riviera and Maritimo, those two manufacturers, and how many uh, young kids they train. So, so what's next for you then? Are you are you going out into Europe, America and uh, promoting promoting Australia? Yeah, absolutely. We're mainly as the South Pacific, so um, it's far more attractive for us to be with Tahiti, New Zealand, and Fiji on a South Pacific stand when we're yeah. in places like the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, when we're in the Monaco Yacht Show, because we we offer that to come to this part of the world. It's a long way to come if you're just going to go to one place. Yeah, um, you need to see it all. You need you need that value proposition of what else is there. Um, if I'm going to bring a vessel this far, 
what other cultures are there, what other countries can I visit, where are the cruising routes. And so we don't like to go just as Australia, we like to go as a collective group. That's great. Well, thank you for teaching me a lot today. That's really, really good. No um, for more content like this, please like and subscribe. But for now, that is all. Thank <laughs> you.